Alrighty guys, hopping in for another Dragon Ball Legends PvP video. For this one, we're doing another collab and we got our boy back in here, the Soviet Super Saiyan himself. Welcome to the channel. Yo, what's up, Azdeek? Happy to be here as always. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get into some uh, friendly battles here. We actually, um, the only rules that we're implementing here is the no rising rush. We're gonna go ahead and do three matches on my channel for the first part and then we're gonna go and do three matches on his channel for the second part so i want to make sure and drop that link in the description below make sure to go show some love and so let's go ahead and hop into it and see what it's gonna go on here see what um, hey, let's get it let's see i'm gonna start off with this kind of team it'll be a little bit sweaty i'm not gonna lie okay let's see okay okay <laughs> i'll see ya all right oh i don't know if you've noticed my name too it was a little bit toxic. Yeah. I, I, I had a little bit of a toxic moment in PvP because we were just talking about PvP uh, for the viewers. Uh, we were talking about PvP and we were talking about the Rising Rush and what happened was there's this guy who's, his name was Won't Use Rising Rush or something in, in Bro, that nature. That's how you know they're going to use one. <laughs> and he used it in the first 15 seconds. <laughs> and so I went and sent him good party. I sent him a um, great training session, changed my name. So like, he can just see that you use Rush right there, right in his face. All right, oh, let's, that's too funny. I'm going to go ahead and start off like this. I, I'm going to be real honest, man. Like I've been doing my research, been like keeping tabs on your progress, how you're getting better. I've seen you use this team against Redstone Saiyan. So let's see. Okay, okay. let's see then. You're doing a little scout? No, yeah. I can't lie. I won't do everything <laughs> you put out, but I ain't got the skills to scout. I just go, damn, I wish I could do that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. All right, the purpose ooh, okay. of my team right here is... Ooh, okay. I have 3 million health on all of these characters. Ooh, a little combo drop on you. Gotcha. 3 million health on all of them? Oh, is that because <laughs> what's-her-name Mai's just boosting up future for the health and stuff? Yeah, so Mai's boosting up my future HP. Uh, Gotenks is uh, boosting up all, all their HP too. And then the, the red god Goku is bu buffing all of their hp as well because they're all fit onto the tags they're all fusion art the only one that's not getting fusion warrior is um the rose oh okay but i have some eclipse on him for like the hell so they're not mm -hmm. they're a little squishy but it's just that three million hp just looks so crazy yeah that's fucking wild the only thing, like people i can think of that i ever have with three million hp is my ginyu force it, like because all if you bring them in here we'll Play no faint. Okay. It, whenever I bring them in, you know, I usually run Goldo and uh, Captain Ginyu on them, so they're getting like a 40% health buff or something ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, for the Ginyu Force, do you um do you have like the Awakened Equip for them? Bro, that Awakened Equip can just <laughs> suck me. Like I hate that equipment with a passion. Do you know how many time how much time I have spent trying to literally just get <laughs> A ranks on that equipment? It is unreal. Yeah, it, it's definitely a pain. I, I feel you, man. I have, I have enough to have my entire team on, um, what you call it, either A ranks or S ranks on it. Oh, he probably caught me there. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm getting, I'm getting drunk. But uh, I have, a, I have enough to have my whole team with A or S's on that equipment, and they honestly still hit really hard. I got them all red start up, so. Yeah. Uh, when they're when they're for, or when the event first came out for them, what was it for the first year anniversary? I didn't touch yeah, it. Yeah, I think it was like right after first year. It's pretty much what the current event for uh, Super Warriors was supposed to be. Oh, fucking rolled me. <laughs> it's the three billion health, man. All right, I gotta. I, what I gotta do is I gotta quit panic swiping. This is the same shit that killed me last <laughs> time I was playing against you. Um, okay. all right, what are we gonna do? I already know, I already know the next team. Round. I'm ready for it. Alright, I'm ready. Oh no, but for like I was saying with the Ginyu Force team, dude, like I didn't even touch that first event. And so I was just like, I heavily regretted it after seeing it. And I finally have them all seven stars and I try to use them. And I was like, dude, like I feel like I'm not doing like anything. I feel like I'm doing crap damage. And I was like, okay, maybe I need this Awakened Equip. And I spent yeah, so no. much resources and I didn't get any good one like I and I just kind of like gave up I'm not gonna lie yeah I mean I'm talking I literally 
probably I don't even I don't, maybe half of all the equipment rerolls I've done in the entire time I played this game have been for that equipment. Not to mention how many times I just you know had to get the base equipments and stuff for it. Yeah, oh, it's a nightmare. Pretty much the the thing for Ginyu Force is you need that equipment, and there's some other equipment. It's like quars, something like that. Yeah, you pretty much need. Yeah, you need those, and then you need good rolls on all the EX color equipments, and they'll start hitting hard. The other thing that I like to do on it is um, what what should I call it? Uh, uh, I'm just I'm blanking. Golden Frieza. I keep him on the bench for extra damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But I definitely want, I'm working on getting my um, Broly up to six stars, and I can't wait to test out that team when I get him uh, all the way up there. So I was just doing some like, you know, uh, test with him just at three star and whatnot, and that team's pretty dirty with them. Yeah, hundred percent. That lock is is messing my life up. Dude, the card draw speed on this Yamcha, it's just it's ridiculous. Alright, oh, caught you right there. Dude, I... That, like, thing that where I just did where I kind of, like, kind of just try to guess if they're gonna, like, sidestep, like, mid-range, it's so hard to pull off, and I get punished for it so often in PvP but when dude, I try look, to do it. Whenever you, pull, I, whenever you pull it off, it feels so good. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Finally getting a hit or two in here. I gotta, I gotta start cycling baby through, get my health up. Oh, I, I, that wasn't the move right there for me. Terrible. I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. Yeah, honestly, when I was trying to go for there, I was just like, okay, maybe this won't hurt too bad, but then you went and just cut half of my HP off. <laughs> <laughs> The thing with this team though is that when I, especially when I went and like showcased this team, is that what happens is that if anyone dies, like everything kind of just goes to sh. I'm not gonna because lie. You don't have to like the um all the vanishes and whatnot. Yo, oh well, cause um Yamcha he doesn't get all his uh, ability bonuses. Like if someone dies, then Yamcha's not gonna get his ability bonuses. Like he's not gonna get the card draw speed, and mm -hmm. um. Oh, does he need he need characters like left alive to get yeah, them? Yeah, like he needs all oh. all of them alive for him to get his like buffs and such. So which one? There's one of them that gets a, a what's it called? A, a like, death, death buff, buffs, right? It's which, him. It's Yamcha that... too. So it's just like it's annoying. Wait, wait, wait. So he needs people alive, but they're also like, yo, man, here's some death buffs if you wanted them. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like the the hardest hitter on the team too, because then you have um. Uh, Tien, who's kind of like a last man standing kind of unit, but he doesn't do like mm -hmm. amazing damage. Yeah, no, Tien, Tien's okay, but I definitely think that Yamcha's like the star of the show there. Yeah, he is. Like for Tien, he's definitely like, um, he's definitely like the tank. You can definitely tell he's the tank because mm -hmm. he just, all the stuff that he's able to do. But other than that, it's just, it's not really... Not really a damage. I do love this Krillin though, because once you do get to half HP, he recovers health and it's just. Oh, Dude, yeah, I think it. I'm not a hundred percent positive if it was an our first collab or a different video, but the I think it was our first collab. So you brought him out, and I like finally managed to do some damage, and here comes Krillin, just like, <laughs> hey, you remember that damage? That shit is gone. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's another thing too. Oh, I can't believe you just destroyed my cards. I, can't believe I was you've about done to this. say that. The <laughs> the green card on Tien it heals everyone over time, but you just went and destroyed my green card, so I can't do that. <laughs> Not today. But thankfully, I pulled another one. I don't know <laughs> how it happened, but it happened. All right. Uh, you do got advantage. I should have known. Uh, oh oh oh! That's that's some damage right there. God damn. <laughs> I'm just glad I got rid of the baby earlier, cause yeah, cause yeah. here's the thing: if, if baby was still alive, then I'd be just working with so much more health. 100. Oh, percent Everything I always like, I always say like, hey, I need to quit panic swipe, and I need to quit tackling. The next thing I do, oh, 
Oh, didn't fall for that, goddamn. I think that's GG right there. Ooh, uh, no. my card. <laughs> All my, um. Because after a while, Yamcha, he. Because when he comes in, his card draw or his blast arts are coming at 14 key cost. But after oh, a while. Damn, yeah, after a while, though, they go back up to 29. And it kind of like threw me off right there. It went up like in that moment. Oh, is it where you had to like keep, you were going to have it queued up and then it's just like, oh, we're going to switch our. Yeah, here. exactly. Yeah. Ooh, GG's, my man. That was a good game. That was a good game. That one went on for a while. Yeah, I thought we might go to count there. Dude, on our first collab, that first match, like my palms were sweaty when I, that was, that was the first time ever fighting you. That was the first time where I was just like. Okay, I kind of need to get a, like a fill for this, and I brought. I think I brought a GT team because I was like, okay, I want to get some heals so I can kind of see how he, what he's doing here. And that one was like literally, what was it like three seconds off the timer count? That one was nuts. Yeah, it went to like all the way, dude. I was the same way. I'm not gonna lie. Anytime I go and like fight someone for the first time, I get a little nervous. I'm like, oh, I gotta do good here. I gotta make sure I'm doing good. Yeah. All right, I'm just warning you right now. I'm getting Omega sweaty for the last match. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll you know, I'll match that same energy. I kind of have like a this team that I kind of built right here that I'm kind of using in PvP when I do play PvP. Oh. Ooh, okay. All right. Now I wish I, because I have two variations of this team right here. I have a shallot version, and I should have brought that version. <laughs> All those yellows. Okay. Oh, you don't got a red. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to improvise here and um, bring out someone that I usually don't bring out. I'm happy that the, the Napa event came back. Another event that I kind of just like kicked myself in the ass for You're is that right. I never like grinded him when he first came out. So I I'm not finally lie. got him. I had him, him like not even max level the first time the event came around because like I didn't play as much back then and I figured... Well, you know, it's just nap, but he'll come back around, I'm sure, like, soon enough. A year and a goddamn half later, he finally did. Yeah. Oh. Okay, um... I do still love this Goku, though. Which one, the green the, one or the Kid Goku? Both of them. The, the Kid Goku is my favorite unit, I feel like, in the game, just because of, like, how free-to-play he can be. Mm -hmm. But, um... Uh, that full power Super Saiyan 4, I really like him. I really wish we got some, like, better, like, not necessarily better, but, like, just more GT units to kind of flesh out the team. Dude, listen, no, not gonna lie, do you know a YouTuber, uh, local Nibba Tips by chance? I was literally yeah. just talking to him about this earlier today. So, listen, I, I, I gave him, ooh, ooh, nice catch there. I, oh, am I going down? Nah, I don't have no more key, unfortunately. Oh no! Well, I was talking to him, and he's like, "Yo, you know, GT really needs like some new uh, yellows because they're just like getting kind of old at this point." And here, here was my idea for a yellow. So we get a yellow pan, like we need another good one, right? And you know, we want a character that's kind of you know in line with what the show is a little bit. You know, make it a little more interesting. So we give we give get a yellow pan with the with a passive that's just called plot armor. Every time she's <laughs> about to die. For no reason, she survives and comes back at 25 health, at 25% health. That'd be crazy. So like, I could like, I think that's pretty much like an April first concept. But I mean, she, there's no reason why she really did. She made it through all of GT somehow, doing nothing. So I think Plot Armor yeah. is fitting past. Her Dude, floor. that's so annoying. Like, you would think that they'd be like, I guess it just wasn't with the times. But you would think like, dude, like, okay, let's go ahead and um. Oh, let's go ahead and like give her like Super Saiyan. Let's give her something cool, Dude, you know? Because right? I'm, you know, Goten, Goten and Gotenks in in uh you know DBZ, they're like, oh, we're just gonna give them Super Saiyan immediately because they have like the genetics of you know their parents. Then you get to Pan, and they're just like, ah, nah, bro, she gets nothing. <laughs> I know, being the daughter of like Gohan, though, like of all things, you know, like it's just crazy. Yeah, you, would think, you would think that she would be able to like hit that shit easy, you know? Yeah, hundred percent. Oh my god, the damage coming out from this yeah, kid Goku. It, it, I love hit, but this man's defenses <laughs> are like ten fly off. Oh, <laughs> uh, GG's my man. Uh, GG's. Dude, that kid Goku right there, that outfit. 
I want Legends to give us the ability to use those alternate colored outfits. Those look so sick. Yeah, 100%. Like, they definitely need to do that. All right, so that's going to go ahead and wrap up my part of those three matches for my part of the video right there. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and drop all of Soviet Super Saiyan's links in the description below. Make sure to check them out. He's going to actually, he's going to have part two on his channel as well. So make sure you go and watch that. See you guys in the next one. Later. Peace. Right, cool.